Welcome back everyone, and in this video, I am going to be pushing some top ladder using Pekka Bridge Spam. So with that being said, this is a pretty more interesting variation of Pekka, but it is so phenomenal. Let me tell you why. Alright, so this particular variation has Mother Witch in it, and with that being said, I also have the Little Prince, so there's two air removal cards for all the, you know, air decks that are going around in the meta as opposed to the one. Um, the only, like, unfortunate thing, though, is, like, um, it doesn't have Bandit, alright? Like, when you think P.E.K.K.A., bro, you think of, like, having Bandit as well in the deck. But, unfortunately, this variation doesn't have Bandit, um, because you kind of honestly don't need it for this variation, you know? Um, and also, like, the, the Mother Witch is so good in this meta because everyone's playing Dagger Duchess. And with that being said, like, when your Mother Witch spawns Piglets, it just... The Dagger Duchess basically has to focus on the Piglets. And with that being said, it basically just makes the Dagger so useless because it has no more ammo because they used it all on the Piglets. So your actual like bridge spam cards like your Ghost and your Battle Ram can actually pop off. Um, so that's why Mother Witch is super like versatile and just like super... Um, what's the word for it? Like, um, Damn, what's that word, bro? I'm trying to think of the word like... Synergize, like, synergizable. Is that even the word? Synergizable? Is that even a word? Synergy? Okay, well, let's just say synergy, okay? It has a lot of synergy. Um, and kind of just like this, bro. Like, it is absolutely going crazy. So, I'm kind of just pressuring because he has, like, low dagger ammo. But, um, let me see if I could get, like, a really good bomber off on top of this as well because I need that damage. So, yeah, just like that. I already got, like, 300 damage just because one bomber splash. <laughs> like, it's absolutely broken. So, um, I'm gonna go for a little prince in the back, maybe set up some defense here and see what can happen. I'm gonna go for Mother Witch right here for the bomber, and actually, I kind of feel like I messed that up. Yeah, exactly, because he could just arrows now because the bomber hit my Mother Witch, so I don't know if that was the play. I'm gonna go for a zap on top of these pups, and I think right here I could just block with this Pekka, so yeah. Okay, he's also going for like a bomber right there, totally fine. I'm gonna go for a Mother Witch. He goes for a Infernal Dragon. Hopefully, I can actually like kill this thing in time before. Oh gosh. Hopefully, I don't lose because of this. I'm gonna go for a Zap right here. I'm gonna go for a Little Prince. Um. Oh gosh. I'm gonna go for a Ghost. I'm gonna go for a Poison. Please don't Snowball. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's go for the next match. Here is the next match, and it's against TOZB, loves Golem. So I'm going to assume this guy is already playing a Golem deck, but which Golem variation is he playing? That is the big question. So um, he's got a Battle Healer, so he's probably playing this really OP Golem Battle Healer deck that has been running around. And... Yeah, this is definitely the Golem Battle Healer deck. Oh my gosh, this deck is so toxic to play against. By the way, I want to like talk to you guys about like uh, me not playing Arrows in P.E.K.K.A. anymore because I want to say that like this is the exact reason why I don't play Arrows anymore in P.E.K.K.A. Because if you guys like know that like last season Arrows was definitely the play um, for P.E.K.K.A. But now I don't even play Arrows anymore just because of this exact deck that I'm playing against. Um, if you basically have arrows against this matchup, it's an auto loss because these guys typically carry pumps. So arrows does nothing to pump and it does nothing to like the E-drags and, and whatnot. So you just can't defend it. Like you just simply can't defend it, bro. So with that being said, also like there's not too much drill as opposed to last season as well. So like with that being said, bro, I think poison's definitely the play now. Uh, just because you can actually like poison the pumps. Okay, yeah, there's the pump, so I'm going to poison it. So, as opposed to if I had arrows right there, I just wouldn't know what to do. I can't really just punish him because he has Dagger Duchess, you know? So, I think the best play is just to sit back and just poison the pump. And, yeah, just kind of take it from there, I guess, you know? So, I'm going to go for a pack in the bag for this golem. And, um, let's see here. So, this might be a little tricky to defend, but I'm kind of just, like, relying on the fact that he doesn't have Battle Healer at the moment. So, maybe I can defend. Uh, I think right here I could just go for like a little prince in the back. 
I'm gonna try to like space everything out so he doesn't get like too much tornado value because that is like what these guys love to do. So yeah. Um, yeah, there's a tornado. That's why I play the little prince so far backwards so like he couldn't try to like clip the little prince with the tornado as well. It could just still sit in the back like that. I'm gonna kite everything with this battle ram. I think it's definitely the play. I'm gonna go for a P.E.K.K.A on top. I think it's a pretty good play again. Um, but yeah, there's the E-Drag. Really annoying. I gotta go for this Royal Ghost for these barbs because that will just completely destroy my tower. So, uh, yeah. He goes for a Tornado as well. I'm gonna go for my Evolved Battle Ram, alright? My Evolved Battle Ram should put in a ton of work for me. He goes for an LP. I'm gonna go for a Zap as well. And, um... Maybe I can just continuously pressure. He's gonna go for barbs, right? Just like that. I'm gonna pop this LP ability. Okay, we getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. He has no dagger duchess ammo, so it's going to be very difficult for this guy to defend this. I'm gonna go for a battle ram as well, just to keep applying the pressure. Um, and uh, okay, I could just go for a zap. Perfect. One more. Let's go, dude. Let's go for the next match. Okay, I forgot to actually hit the record button as soon as the match started, but uh, nothing honestly even happened. The match honestly still just kind of began, so he just missed his fireball. He literally just missed his fireball. Um, This might just be game anyway. Yeah, he's even saying good game. <laughs> All right, dude. So yeah, it doesn't even matter, bro. It doesn't even matter that I started the recording late. Um, It just ends, dude. Mother Witch just... Did its thing. Okay, but to be fair, he did miss his fireball. Like, if he actually hit his fireball, this wouldn't have happened. But regardless, dude, I'll definitely take the win. Um, it helps me out. So let's just go ahead and uh, let's cut to the next match. Here is the next match against Pancake Loves Clone. I think that's how you say that. But he doesn't even have an E in the name. Like, he doesn't even have, like, an E after the Pancake thing. So, like, I don't know. He just goes for a Hound. I'm just going to go for a Mother Witch. Um, so... Hopefully, um, I'm just assuming this guy's gonna play clone, alright? I'm just gonna assume he plays clone. Um, I'm gonna go for a battle ram right here just to protect my mother witch. He goes for a baby dragon at the bridge. Totally fine here. And yeah, so let's see. There's the clone right there. I'm gonna go for a little prince and I'm going to go for a zap as well. Just to make sure my tower doesn't go down in like the first 40 seconds of the match or so. So, or actually like 50. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, dude. Everything is looking not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this little prince ability just to kind of force something else out of this guy. He goes for a lumberjack, totally fine here. Um, I'm gonna go for a royal ghost kind of high because he has kind of low dagger ammo at the moment, so I want to try to keep that in check, I guess. All right, he goes for bats. Maybe I can get a really nice mother witch on top of these bats. Okay, he goes for a fireball. Um, uh, yeah, like that's just kind of annoying, dude. Hopefully this battle ramp can work some magic. He goes for skeleton dragons though. Okay, that almost got a connection. That would have actually been so clutch though. I don't really need to worry about these um, skeleton dragons because my dagger duchess just pops off right there. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see here. So kind of just resetting. He goes for a hound in the back. I'm going to go for a, a little pee in the back. And I think what I want to do here is like, I want to go for a P.E.K.K.A at the bridge because... This guy has Lumberjack, so with that being said, he shouldn't have, like, any other ground answers, because his Lumberjack should be his, like, only, you know, ground answer, so this should be a pretty good P.E.K.K.A. This guy has Barbarians, too! Okay, yeah, I was sadly mistaken there. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go for an M-Wish, plus a Zap as well, so let's go ahead and just run that right there. He goes for a Fireball, as per usual. I'm gonna go for a Bomber. He goes for a Clone... Okay, that doesn't really do too much. I'm going to go for a little P right on top of that clone baby dragon, and everything should be good to go. I'm going to go for a battle ram as well. Um, an Evo battle ram, I should say. And my little prince is taking care of that pretty nicely. My battle ram does get a connection charge. That's actually so clutch. Okay. Look at the evil barb, though. Look at the evil barb. Oh my gosh, that thing just went to town. I'm going to go for a zap right there. Oh my gosh, my little prince stays alive too. I'm just going to go for a ghost. I'm going to go for a battle ram as well, just to keep applying some pressure. I think my tower just dies here, though. I'm going to go for a bomber. I guess I'll just, like, tower trade him, potentially. That should be fine, right? Goes for that. I could go for a little prince. 
Oh, it goes for bats. Maybe I should have played a Mother Witch instead. Um, he shouldn't have a, enough elixir for barbs anyway, so that should actually be game. Yeah, like, there's, like, nothing. I could just go for a poison for game, pretty much. So, yeah. There is basically nothing he can do anymore. That is a very nice win in the bag. I'll definitely take that W any day of the week. And with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at what I am currently positioned in the world right now. So, yeah. Alright, there's my medals right there and whatnot. And let's see. 293rd in the world. So, that is going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll do more next time.